Welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the complete demo of Virtual Blood Bank. It is in the application project. The operating theater blood transaction system is a virtual blood banking system that allows computer cross-matching compatibility blood ordering and are delivering in the operation theaters remote from the hospital blood bank. The OTBTS have proven to be efficient, effective and if error free. So furthermore over experience with the unmatched blood models that are attested to the safety and the effectively of a computer controlled online ordering and real time on site delivery of unmatched RBCs for emergency transfusions. Here we have to developing the two levels that one for blood bank and hospitals, another one for stock manager and the users. So, admin can maintain the donor's whole improve. Admin can maintain the donor's whole information like blood group, phone numbers, address, registrations, details, and login details. Update and edit the profiles of the donors and the blood bank and stock managers all are maintained by the admin. Records and donors can log in and view their related details, edit profile, change password and view their details. Next we are going to see the complete flow of virtual blood bank. For this one, first we need to make a common registration. In this common registration, we will generate the registration ID for each and every user for any type of user. The users can access by using this registration ID. So next it will be categorized into four categories that are donor, stock manager, hospital and blood bank. If the donor make a registration means he need to enter their profile and make a new registration for this donor ID. This donor ID and the reservation ID will send it to the donor mail ID. So next the process will be the login process. The login will contain the registration ID and the mail ID of the donors. If the valid login means we move to the provide the edit profile option and access medical report options and also the users can be able to edit their profile details and also reset their passwords and logout options. If the registration will maintain the stock manager registrations means he also need to enter the profile registration and the reservation ID and the stock manager ID will send it to the stock manager mail id so the stock manager can log in by using the reservation id under further process if the valid login means he can be able to edit the profile and check stock and the alert donors and he can be able to process the further move it the profiles and here the stock manager will check the stocks which are going to be reservated and which are going to be further processed and he can giving the donors a lot for blood donation. If the registration process will contain the hospital means the hospital profile details will be gathered from the hospital MD and the reservation ID and the hospital ID will be sent to the hospital manager login ID. So next we going to be the login process. If the valid login means the hospital can be able to add the blood bag and check the availability of the blood bags and he can be able to edit the donor profiles and also set the donor who is going to be scanned or unscreened. So it will be helps us to edit the user profile. If the registration fees will contain the blood bank registration means the Profile registration will be handled for the blood bank with their blood bank details. The RID and the blood bank ID will be sent to the blood bank account. Next we going to the login process. If the valid login means the blood bank will move to the record blood bank and request of the blood. So it will be can able to giving the blood request and reserve the blood packets from the hospitals.
Next we are going to see the complete demo of virtual blood bank. So first we need to fill the details in the registration form. This is the main registration. Next we need to choose the role. Whom is going to be donor or blood bank or stock manager on hospital. After getting the registration the profit registration form will get opened. It will be based on the our choose to category. So here we have to choose the donor for registration. So here we have to view the donor registration form. So here the RID and the donor ID will be sent to the user mail ID. Repeated for the all the roles that just like donor execution and stock manager. Next we are going to be fill the main registration form for the blood bank registration. This will show the blood bank profile registration. Here we need to provide the blood bank name. After filling this profile details, we have to register the blood bank. So this process will be repeated for all the process stock manager just like a hospital. So after getting these registrations, we need to log in to the account. First I have to move to the stock manager login account. Here I have to provide the stock manager ID as 6, mail ID as. After filling the login profile details, we have to log in to our personal account. So this will be shown in our personal account for stock manager. So first they have to show the edit profile option to edit our blood bank ID and our name and also the date of birth and phone number. So add a blood bank profile will show the details about the blood bank and it can able to add the blood bank to the account. So here I have to provide the blood bank ID as 2 and donor ID as 2. After filling this blood bag details, we have to add this blood bag to the After adding the blood bag, we have to update the health report. So it will be shown for donor. It will be helps us to update the donor health report screened or unscreened. Next we move to the check stock. The check stock option will move used to find out the blood bag availability for each blood banks presented in their blood bank. The check stock availability will be used to, to show the blood bank availabilities in their blood bank. Back status will help us to show the back status. So uh, here I have to set the black pack ID for, for uh, issued. So this will be updated for further process. The next option will be mode to reset the password and I have to log out to the stock manager account. Next I move to login to the blood bank account with ID 50. After filling the login details for the blood bank ID, we move here the edit profile of the login will be shown for the blood bank. Next will be the check stock option we used to showing the blood bank availabilities for this blood bank. Here the O positive blood groups are available in two bags. Search for blood option will be used to searching the items. Here I have to use to for searching. So the searching icon will show the number of blood bags availability in each and every blood banks nearby Madurai. Next we moved to the reset power and the logout session for the blood bank. Next we have moved to the login to the hospital account. So after login to the hospital account we can use that hospital account property. In the hospital account we can giving the request for blood. So here I have to provide the O positive request 5 units and hospital name is Apollo. So this will be added to the news category. It will be shown in them. 5 units of O positive blood group record Apollo hospital. So next reserve packets. This reserve packet options will use to do showing the number of blood bags availability in the city. So here I have to provide Madurai and search for the blood. So it will be shown the blood bank ID 2 will contain the B negative blood bank 1 and A positive blood bank 1 and AB negative blood bank 1 and O positive blood bank 2. It will help us to reserve the packets. Here I have to provide the blood bank ID. This is the packet option will use to, to reserve the packets. And the logout portion helps us to move to the home.
By using this process, we have to achieve the online blood bank for accessing the donors, stock manager, hospital, and blood banks. Each of the users can be able to access the blood bank site. So this will help us to reduce the time for searching the blood. Thanks for watching.